All right, so what we're going to try to do today is create a little uh, acrylic display stand for the Super 7 segment. And uh, what we're going to use is this uh, acrylic vendor that I built after seeing a similar post on Hackaday about someone building something similar. And uh, all that it is is a, uh, an aluminum channel with a bit of nichrome wire strung across from one end to the other. And what happens with the nichrome wire is once you plug a whole bunch of current through it, it gets really hot and uh, the assembly that I have here will allow for a very uh, tight focus of that heat to a certain spot on the acrylic, which uh, we have here, the piece I prepared earlier. And uh, once you get a certain portion of that really hot, then you can uh, press the piece of acrylic into a form, either a 90 degree form like this, or what we're actually gonna make on the table saw is a, uh, a slightly different angle. We're gonna go for about a 30 degree bend, and uh, in order to create that, I'm going to uh, just cut up some, some wood and glue it or screw it or nail it together. Haven't figured that out yet. And create a form that we can use to press the heated acrylic into in order to create that nice bend. So uh, I just prepared the uh, acrylic and now I'm going to go and cut this piece of wood real quick and we'll uh, throw the form together. There we go. That should work out well enough for a form. Angle is uh, maybe a little steeper than I wanted, but should have enough material in the uh, piece of acrylic to uh, have plenty of room to mount the, uh, the display. So uh, it'll probably be easier to drill the holes in the acrylic for the mounting hardware before bending it than it would be after bending it. So let's drill those holes now. this is going to work, but we'll give it a shot and see. So I have a piece of acrylic with the display on top of it and a couple pieces of wood to act as spacers to make sure that the alignment in this direction, basically to make sure that the top of the display is parallel with the top of the piece of acrylic. And if I apply pressure here and hold it, 
uh, should be pretty solid. So I'm going to try to hand drill this. Ideally, the bench or the uh, uh, drill press but would be the right tool to use, but uh, getting it set up to use there would probably be a bit of a challenge. So uh, I'm just going to try this and see if it works. PCB with me, but eh, it's all good. to see but that's what we're working with oh well this is just an experiment I'm sure there's better ways to do it we'll see what happens all right and now the fun part we're going to use the acrylic bender to heat the acrylic and then once it gets to a suitable state of meltiness we will force it into the form and hopefully have a decent bend out of it. So uh, let's get that started now. I have my bench power supply hooked up, plugged in, turned on and heated up. It's currently drawing 1.6 amps at 16 volts for however many watts that is. Uh, that's about all I can get out of this power supply I've found in, in playing with it, but as long as you leave it sit for about a minute or so, it should be okay. So we'll see what happens. And you might have noticed that when I applied power to it, the spring there in the back uh, contracted a little bit. And that's because the nichrome wire, once it heats up, will actually expand. And the spring in there is designed to keep the wire under tension and not have it droop uh, once the power is applied. So uh, we'll. Uh, let it sit there for a little bit longer and you can kind of tell by some of the distortions in the plastic. Helps to have it evenly pushed down so I'm just going to apply some pressure to it to make sure that it's all the same, uh, roughly the same height above the uh, nichrome wire all the way across. And it looks like it is. Give it a little bit longer, make sure it's nice and melty. Okay, the corners are starting, or the ends are starting to deform a little bit, so I think we're just about there. It is pretty cold in the garage today, so uh, we'll see how well this goes. 
Should be all right. Let's give it a go. It's a bit of a bend for it, but I think we're all right. Just let it sit there for a second to cool down and cure. See what happened. Turn the power off. Don't need that anymore. Was it lovely creaking sounds? And there we go. Let that sit for a little bit longer, but that's basically the effect that we're going for. Um, and all the acrylic bending that I've seen is done basically the same way. You just heat it up evenly and uh, force it into a form that has the right angle to it. And that should work out pretty well. I need to clean up the plastic a little bit. But also, pro tip, don't use isopropyl alcohol on this stuff because it'll cause it to crack. And uh, that's no good. But uh, yeah, I think that'll work out well. I'm going to go try to find some hardware to mount the display in it and we'll see if that part of it actually worked. Alright, well, uh, the alignment on the screw holes wasn't um, perfect by any means, but uh, I think it worked out well enough. And uh, as you can see, the display does still work. And uh, it should work pretty well. So, yeah. That's basically what I was going for. Uh, nothing super fancy, but um, does kind of uh, show off some of the uh, the technique, and uh, yeah, we'll try to do something like this again in the future.